I mean, the, the purpose of these reports is to try and show to the international community, I guess, um, just how bad the human rights situation is in Bahrain. The, the people of Bahrain obviously understand better than anyone how bad the situation is on the ground. I think the job of an organisation like Human Rights Watch is to show to other actors just how bad things are. So, for example, the British government has claimed that judicial reform is an area of progress in Bahrain. The British government is one of the main obstacles to reform in Bahrain. And what this report does is it shows that that statement is incorrect. So it may not seem initially um, that this is going to be something that's going to cause major change in Bahrain. I don't think it is, but what I think it is, it's a process, a small step in what will be a very long fight uh, to get justice for the people of Bahrain. I don't see a Human Rights Council resolution happening in June. I have concerns that there will be one in September uh, based on information that was relayed to us in Geneva recently. We obviously hope that there will be one. It's uh, a key element in convincing the government of Bahrain to change their path to, to act in a manner um, less reprehensible, if you will. Um, so I would say we're hopeful of a resolution in September but it's by no means um, guaranteed that we will get one, which is disappointing and depressing, um, but it's something that we have to realistically bear in mind and make sure that we target all our efforts towards getting one. My name is Nicholas McGee and I'm the Bahrain researcher at Human Rights Watch.